Hi everyone! Before I begin, I would like to wish you all a very happy New Year 2017. I hope you had a great time during the holidays. And I also take this opportunity to thank you all for subscribing to my website, to my channel, and also for all the kind words and messages I received this past year from you. I really try to take time to read them carefully and to answer them. And they make me really happy, so thank you very much. Also, if someone have, would have told me like over a year ago I would be making these videos and writing these articles to publish them on the net, I probably wouldn't have believed it. So I'm really happy that I did follow this guidance that I received within a dream um, in November 2015 and that I was able to overcome my fears to come forward. So, this past year of 2016, we did a lot of purging and a lot of cleansing of all physical, emotional and energetic ailments. So it was very much a year about healing. And it was also the last year of a nine-year cycle in numerology. So we were finishing um, this cycle. And I don't know if you felt it, but the, um, the last two months of last year were pretty intense because there were a lot of uh, planet transits and also these super full moons that intensified um, all that was going on already on this planet. So it was almost like if we were in gestation in the womb and then suddenly there was this huge amount of pressure to help us really release all that is not needed anymore and to go like a little baby through the birth canal and to come out uh, on the other side all new and fresh to start this new year um, 2017 which is um, very much about renewal. So we are in a year one in numerology which is a fresh new beginning, a new start, the beginning of a new cycle and what we have seen with the earthquake effect of the election of Donald Trump in the US is that the collective has chosen a rapid and radical change. And actually, these energies of change will begin to speed up even more and more over the coming years because we are in between this time span of 2015 and 2020, where, which are really pivotal years for the, the uh, entry in this new era. And so things are going to shift more and more and even faster and faster. And actually, if things are shifting so fast right now that it's almost impossible to really make serious forecasts on the long term. So basically the timelines are really, you know, shifting all the time. So even up there in the spiritual realm, they're not even making any, you know, bets on any timeline anymore because things are so fluctuating. It's almost like the, the universe is playing the roulette. And uh, we really saw this with the, uh, the election of Trump because I, I felt during the year of 2016 that Trump was going to win and then when by the summer of 2016 especially the end of the summer so the month of September the energies shifted to Hillary and then by the beginning of October they shifted back to Trump and from that point forward everything shifted the entire globe shifted so um, even though it's really difficult to make any forecasts right now. I still got some insights about 2017, so I will share them with you right now. 2017 is going to be a year of radical changes, and it's going to be um, like a roller coaster year with highs and lows. And on a collective level, there will be more and more revelations coming out and the entire structures that hold all these lies and all this illusion will start to melt like snow in the sun. Also, um, perhaps we will start talking about the true origins of humanity, so the true history of humanity that has been hidden for millennia. And for that we will receive some guidance and also help um, from our galactic brothers and sisters that will assist us to channel and anchor this um, divine light on the planet. The thing is, these changes will not happen in a joyful and fluid and uh, happy way because there is still a huge amount of violence and hatred on this planet and Trump actually embodies that extreme. And when we look at the amount of resistance there is still on this planet um, regarding all these changes, 
we understand better how these changes can only happen through this extreme polarity point. And also, we'll see what happens when he becomes a brilliant president officially. But there is actually a pre-Civil War atmosphere in the US right now. And if it does happen, then it will have consequences on certain European countries, of course, that also might go into a civil war. The economy collapse is still near and might even rush things. And everything was done by the shadow to create this opposition on a political, cultural, religious and civilization level. And maybe I'll be able to talk about this in an, uh, another time. But it is really time, more than ever, to preach unity and union between all human beings. This is a year where a lot of masks will fall, on a collective level, like I just said, but also on a personal level. So it's going to be more and more difficult to hide behind the masks that the ego uses. It's going to be more and more difficult to pretend to be someone we are not. It's going to be more and more difficult to hide ourselves or lie to ourselves. Because we are really invited to align ourselves with our true selves, with our higher selves, or soul, whatever you want to call it. So the universe is going to put us in positions where basically things are going to be taken away from us. Um, so it can be a job, it can be friendships, it can be relationships, business par partnerships, it can be relocating. So there will be a lot of radical changes in people's lives during this year. It's really important this year to stay in a state of non-attachment and non-resistance to what is currently going on. And we must keep in mind that the universe works for us. It works for our highest good, it works for our expansion. So basically what the universe is going to do is just take away all these things that don't serve us anymore um, so that we can really clear the slate clean and replace it with something new and something better and something much more relevant for us. This will be painful for some people, of course, um, but we just m must keep in mind that the more we are going to hold on to the past, the old paradigm, um, old past um, thought patterns or belief systems or whatever, the more we are going to suffer. So we are really invited, more than ever this year, to learn how to let go. <laughs> At the same time, it's a year one, so it can be compared to the first sign of the zodiac, which is Aries, a fire sign. So what will be required um, during this year is to actually begin to move forward and to take action to make these changes. And we will feel this energy even more strongly during the spring of 2017, because the real new year is actually the spring equinox. And it's just that this gestation period is over and um, this period where we were kind of arms crossed in front of our screens just watching the world go by and um, sending love here and there, which is a rather passive state, is over. If we really want to make changes in this world, if, because this, this whole um, old system is crashing, there must be some people that are working to make, it, to make and create a new one. So we can ask ourselves these questions. Um, what do we want to do? Do we want to create these uh, self-sufficient communities? Do we want to be of service to others and the whole? Do we want to show that another um, model of um, and systems of economy, work, education, um, and so on are, are possible? So just what are we waiting for to just take action on these, on these things? And the energy of 2017 is really going to um, give us a kick in the ass, I want to say, just to start um, walking the talk, because it is time. During the holidays, we had several days where there was a freezing fog that put a kind of crystal veil over nature, which was really beautiful and magical. And uh, one night, I went to take a walk across the field, so I was on a straight road, and um, night was falling, so it was quite dark, and I couldn't see further than 20 meters in front of me because I was surrounded by this fog. But, and this fog really looked like this kind of void, infinite void. But it wasn't frightening, and um, I could really feel that there was a kind of force and momentum in that scene. 
And I thought it was a really a perfect metaphor for what is going on right now on this planet because humanity is moving forward in this uncertainty towards a uh, you know unsure future and all that is left that is that we can only focus on what is happening here and now so what is in front of us and by doing so we realize that step by step the road is revealed under our feet and what is revealed is more of ourselves because it's like stepping into the unknown helps us really to to kind of touch the infinite the infinity of possibilities so um, it's really interesting a lot of people are losing it right now or will begin to lose it during this year because awakening is not an easy process it's it's sometimes very painful and uh, it's not easy to just you know wake up one day and realize that everything that we've been taught or told is actually a lie so it's not easy for a conditioned ego to process that and to integrate all of that at once. So what we can do is simply hold space for all the people that will um, awaken during this year and, and at, the at the same time continue to act upon our dreams and our desires and what we want to do on this planet and the changes that we want to make in our own lives. We will be invited to find balance between taking action and moving forward while remaining in our center and our inner peace. So we will be invited to practice detachment. Now detachment is not a form of coldness or a form of denial. It is simply this pure state of consciousness, this neutral observer that allows us to direct our actions and intentions in the right direction. And it's also like this metaphor of the road in the fog. It just shows us that it's useless to focus on the external uh, world, the fog, which is uncertain, but to focus instead on our faith, on our strength, which represents source, while we are moving forward, which represents the expansion of the universe. It is only when we attain that state that we are in alignment with our true selves and it is only when we are in alignment that we can channel this divine light and anchor it on this planet in order to dissolve the veil of illusion, to dissolve the layers of darkness that are still maintaining most of humanity asleep. But not for so long anymore. So, Happy New Year and Satnam. See you soon.